Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We've got a quick one today. I got in this the other day through the Amazon Vine program called the Keymecker Mano 603U. And this is exactly what it looks like. It is a trackpad that works with Windows 10 and Windows 7 and sort of works on the Mac. And I don't see many of these, so I figured I would get one in and just try it out and see how it works because it kind of reminded me from its picture of the Apple Magic Trackpad, which I use on my Mac and like quite a bit. This one isn't quite as good, but if you are looking for a trackpad, it might be worth taking a look at. I'm just gonna do a quick demo of this for you in just a second, but I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, nor is anyone reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what this trackpad is all about. Now, the price point on this one is $34.99, which might seem like a lot for a product that looks like this, but believe it or not, there are not many trackpads available for the PC at the moment. And of those that are available, this is one of the least expensive. Uh, the device here though does need to be plugged in all the time via USB. It will not work wirelessly. The good news is, is that there's no battery, but the bad news is it has to be hardwired for it to work with a big USB cable sticking out of it all the time. There is no haptic feedback with this. There is no clickable mouse button. It is simply a, a touchpad that will detect your finger movement. And if you want to tap on something, you just push it down and tap on it, but you're not gonna feel anything pushing back on you. And it gets a little frustrating to control. So let me pull up my Windows 10 PC here for you so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so if I double tap the top of this window, I can move it around. But what I typically do on my track pads that have click pads is that I'll click down with one thumb here and move with my index finger, which I really can't do here. So you kind of have to relearn things a little bit. They do have another thing that you can do, which is uh, tapping on this icon here, which will lock in the mouse push so I can move things around a little bit easier that way without having to double tap on the uh, title bar. But there you go. It's something you can do, but not spectacular. Um, overall though, it does seem to work with all the Windows 10 gestures. So if I do my four fingers up and down here, I can adjust volume. I configured that a little bit earlier. I also have the ability to do a three finger gesture here to get into my running programs. If I switch to my web browser here and go full screen with my browser, I can zoom in and out with a pinch to zoom motion. And then the scrolling here works if I uh, use two fingers and go up and down like that. So it seems to work pretty well with everything except the uh, clicking and the dragging. If you want to do a right mouse button, you just push two fingers down and you'll get the right mouse button menu there to pop up. So overall, not bad. Uh, but again, I would like a little bit more flexibility for clicking and dragging. But other than that, uh, not a bad experience. Now we did try this on the Mac a little bit earlier. It does work on the Mac. You can do your scrolling and clicking, uh, but it doesn't support any of the other gestures, including pinch to zoom. We also tried it on a Chromebook, and there we could use the mouse pointer, but nothing else worked. Not even clicking worked on the Chromebook. So I think it's probably something you'll want to stick to Windows with. And if you don't mind that dragging issue, I think it might be worth checking out if you are looking for a desktop trackpad. That's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Tom Albrecht, Chris Allegretta, David Hockman, Brian Parker, Mike Patterson, and Bill Pomerantz. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.